Welcome back, everyone, to the AI Sports Picks podcast and YouTube channel. I'm your host, the White Charles Barkley. <laughs> no, hey, subscribe to the channel and visit us at ai-sportspicks.com. Hey, a shout out to our sponsor, the Chocolate Mushroom Company, gethappynow.com. That's gethappynow.com. These mushrooms have some amazing health benefits. They're 100% legal, and they're going to be all over the country very soon. I'm still waiting for FedEx to get my, my shirts and hats and some bars to share, but don't wait for me. Check them out, gethappynow.com. They'll help you cash, and they'll help you see the window. And on that note, I've been getting calls and text messages all week. Like, hey man, are you are you really pushing mushrooms and shrooms on your show and you're wearing weird shirts and do you want to do that to your legacy, man? And I'm like, bro, these are legal shrooms. These aren't, hey bro, I'm seeing waves. Like, no, we're not seeing waves, bro. These are health beneficial mushrooms. Check them out. But I appreciate you guys reaching out. Mikey Embers, he'll tell you, He'll be coming in to help us anyways, but Mikey Ember's a distributor here in town and he can take care of you if you uh, if you guys want to try it. Let's get to some free content. Don't forget, guys, fantasy football. Make sure you start your lineups, set your lineups. There's an early game tomorrow, again, as uh, Buffalo is on the road to face Jacksonville. Jacksonville's actually been there for two weeks. It's the first time that NFL... Uh, has let a team play back-to-back -back games there. So we'll see what that looks like. I would probably have to slide with uh, side with Jacksonville plus the five and a half, but uh, I'm not going to sweat out Josh Allen. Boy, Josh Allen is on fire. And so are Buffalo. Uh, you know, it is a, a short week for them. They, they are coming off a, an emotional divisional game, right? And so... Um, they got to go across the pond. They're going to lose a day of, of travel. They got to they got to get a day or two of recovery. It's going to be an interesting matchup, and it's a it's the first game of the day. Just make sure you you start your fantasy uh, your fantasy order, your lineups, and you're ready to cash. First game that we're going to release today: the New York Football Giants on the road at Miami. Kickoff slated 10 a.m. Pacific. 1 p.m. East Coast. Now, the Dolphins opened up at a 9.5 favorite. It was immediately bought to 10, 10.5, 11, 11.5. We're up to 12.5, I believe, in 13 in some spots. And typically, when you see a pro team that crosses that double-digit line, pros and experts come in and start pounding it the other way, and we're not seeing that at all. Uh, how can you back the Giants right now? I mean, this team, this is one of the most poorly coached teams I've seen in some time. Um, and it's surprising because Dayball and, and Martindale on the defensive side, you know, those guys, I mean, they know what they're doing. They've had some a good track record, so it's very surprising to start. The Giants 0-4 against the spread, 1-3 uh, on the season uh, with one win coming as they were down 28 points, came back and beat Arizona, which is just incredible. Otherwise, they would be 0-4 and 0-4 against the number. Now, Miami, you know, coming off an emotional divisional road game where they fell flat. They ran into a buzzsaw. Uh, they're not a good matchup. You know, Buffalo is really not a great matchup for Miami. Uh, they got out schemed a little bit. Um, and so just out executed. And they, they had a bad day, you know, coming off a 70 piece. I mean, I'm sure they were patting themselves on the back. How could they not? But I look for them to get back on track, to get back home, get back in South Beach where they're, man, they're going to be cooking on all cylinders. It's going to be hot. It's going to be cracking. The Giants are coming off a short week where they got absolutely embarrassed. They couldn't do much against, a, I would say, a, a maybe a decent, above average Seattle team. Um, and so the fact that we're not seeing any pro or sharp money come in on the Giants at any of these numbers telling me the line's too low. I would have set the line at 14. 
14 and a half. That's probably where I would start looking back at the Giants. We got it at 11 and a half. We're going to buy it down to 11. We're going to release two units on the Miami Dolphins. We hate laying points on the show. We rarely do it. But we paid for information last week, and we saw just how bad the Giants were. We're going to have two units on the Miami Dolphins, minus 11, at home to cash and to see the window. Our next game on the board is going to be Baltimore at Pittsburgh. Kickoff slated 1 p.m. East, 10 a.m. West Coast. Baltimore coming off quite a showing as they absolutely destroyed the Brownies. Or should we say the Clownies? You know, Deshaun Watson decided not to play even though he was cleared medically. I, did, I thought that sent the wrong message. And obviously the message was sent because all the rest of the team took the week off as well. Ravens come in 3-1, and 3-1 and one against the spread. And they're facing a Pittsburgh team who, let's be honest, they got absolutely embarrassed and blown out the week last week against Houston. Kind of interesting, to, something to look at. Pittsburgh the week before, Monday Night Football in Vegas. You know, they got the win. They stayed in Vegas. Was there some partying going on? You know, did some guys stay back in Vegas? It's a trend to look at as teams that get out of Vegas, especially after night games. Um, are they heading to the clubs? You know, they're not recovering. Because I'll tell you what, that they didn't even look like the Steelers. It was TJ Watt Day in Houston. You would think, I'm sorry, JJ Watt Day in Houston. You would think TJ was going to have a big game. Uh, Tomlin, you know, the senior coach. You got going against a rookie coach, and they got absolutely pummeled. And so we've got some interesting stats on this one. Um, if you look at this matchup, Mike Tomlin coming in as a home dog, uh, well, just Mike Tomlin as an underdog, he's the most profitable coach in all of football. I'll say it again. Mike Tomlin is the most profitable coach in all of NFL football as an underdog. As he comes in at a Astonishing 55 and 31 against the number. Now he's a home dog in this spot. And as a home dog, he's 17 and 6. And he's facing a divisional opponent. And against his own division, he's 22 and 9 against the spread as a dog. And what's even what's even more crazy? I mean, this is some crazy numbers as when, when you see Pittsburgh and Baltimore get together, the underdog is now cashed 11 straight. It's 21 and 3 and 3 the last 27 and 15 1 and 1 the last 17. Everything's lining up on Pittsburgh, Mike Tomlin, and the underdog Steelers at home in a divisional game, coming off a blowout where they scored less than three points, which is another trend to look at. Now, Baltimore comes in, you know, very well coached. Um, Lamar Jackson has only beat Pittsburgh one time in his career. Um, we're hoping that Kenny Pickett can <laughs> he better pick his he better pick it up. And if he needs some shroom, we'll send him his way. But we're gonna release the Pittsburgh Steelers plus four and a half to cash and to see the window. So that's two plays, two home teams, Dolphins, Steelers. Let's get to another game. As the Cincinnati Bengals at Arizona, we're going to go west out here where the Bengals come in at a three and a half point favored. It actually opened at six, has been bet all the way down to three and a half, three, depending on where you're at. Now the Bengals come in one and three on the year, but they're 0 three and one against the spread as their only win. Remember, they pushed against the Rams on that Monday night. Arizona comes in red hot against the spread. They should be 4-0 as Zach Ertz. I don't know if you guys caught it. If you had Arizona last week, you know Zach Ertz dropped a touchdown. Like on the last play, the last two plays of the game for the Cardinals against the Niners um, were dropped touchdowns. That would have obviously um, would have cashed. But unfortunately, and fortunately for the Niner betters, uh, Earth dropped it, and the wide, I can't think of the name, but the wide receiver <laughs> dropped it too, and, and Arizona did not cover last week. Otherwise, they'd be sitting 4-0 against the spread, and what's that tell you? That tells you that the books have undervalued Arizona, 
and they've overvalued the Bengals, and, the, and thus they open up a line at minus six on Sunday, and it's been bet all the way down. Uh, the Bengals have yet to beat Arizona in, in Phoenix. It's not like these teams play a bunch of times, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the three and a half with Arizona to stay hot against the number, and the Bengals not. You know, <clears throat> this is a, this will be a tough matchup. I see a field goal game, but we're gonna have two units on the Arizona Cardinals and Josh Dobbs to stay hot and, and stay in the win column for the sports betters and cash and to see the window. So that's three plays for you guys. One more we're going to break down, and then we'll have the Sunday night. We'll have its own show. That'll be Sunday night football. We'll, have, uh, we'll break that one down as the Cowboys, obviously the game of the year. The uh, Dallas Cowboys will be facing the San Francisco 49ers from Levi Stadium. Boy, we can't wait for that one. All right, you got the uh, New York Jets, the New York football Jets at Denver. Kickoff slated for 425 East. Now the Jets come in one and three. They played a lot better Sunday night. They are two and two against the number as Patty Mahomes slid home safe and helped the Jets cash as he didn't score with two, what was that, a minute and 50 to go? I mean, if you had Kansas City minus any points right there, God, you'd want to throw up and you just, you hated Mahomes at that moment. But the Jets coming in, um, you know, you got to remember the Jets have a, a, a really good defense. Uh, Zach Wilson, can you back him on the road in this spot? I don't know. Um, this is this is going to be an interesting game. On the flip side, Denver comes in one and three on their year, o oh, three and one on the on the year against the spread, and they they should have lost last week. They got so lucky. The Bears just. Handed them the game, the uh, the fumble, the, the scoop and score really changed it. But I will say that Russell Wilson's actually been playing quite a bit better this year. Um, you know, he's going to face uh, a Jets defense that, you know, let's be honest, they haven't been, I mean, they're ranked 14th. So they're, they haven't been as dominant as we all thought. So who do you want to back here? You got the you got Zach Wilson on the road with the with the with the 14th ranked defense, Sala coming in. You got Hackett, the coordinator, who was the head coach for Denver last year. You remember all the offseason talking shit back and forth between you know Sean Payton firing on the Jets and then Aaron Rodgers firing back. So this is going to be an emotional game, and everyone's lining up on the Jets. Uh, 75, 78% of the tickets are backing Zach Wilson in the spot. I guess they were all sold on his performance. Um, we like Denver at home. Uh, obviously, we don't lay points. We're not going to lay the one and a half. Uh, we're going to take Denver on the money line. I think Sean Payton's got him pay, playing a little bit better. They're always going to play better at home. When I look at the two quarterbacks, who could I back? Um, I don't feel good about this, guys. It's not a, it's not a top play by any way. But it is a play when you see 78% of the tickets on the Jets, on Zach Wilson. Maybe it's for a reason. We're going to find out. We do know that that Denver defense is Swiss cheese. And they just sent Randy Gregory over to the Niners. And so the, the Broncos 0-2 at home, 0-3 against the spread. You really can't back them. I'm going to have no opinion on this. We were going to talk about maybe taking Denver on the money line. But now, as I'm getting ready to say it, we're just going to pass and, and move on to the next. Maybe that'll help you make a selection. We do have an opinion on Philadelphia at the Rams. Kickoff 405 East. Uh, Jalen Hurts and the boys come in 4-0, 2-1 against the spread. Facing off with Matt Stafford and the LA Rams. The Rams come in 2-2, 3-0 against the spread with one push. Remember, they pushed that Monday night against the Bengals. And, you know, the Rams, have, they've been undervalued. And you know, let, let me back up. How about the field goal that McVay kicked with time? Exp I've still never seen that. I'll never, you'll probably never see it again. Where a pro coach runs a kicker out with two seconds left, one second, 
kicks it and loses by seven, unless he was just trying to help his family out, who he knew they had, you know, big action on plus seven and a half, because that was, boy, that was unbelievable. But hey, the Rams are, are undefeated against the spread, and for a lot of us, that's all that counts. On the flip side, Philly, they're just a much more talented team up front on the defensive line. On the offensive line, they should win the battle of the trenches. Um, you know, Swift is running the hell out of the ball. And, and Hurts, is, he's just as calm and cool and collected as he ever has. I really like the scheme. I really like the coach. The Eagles have been one of the best covering teams in all of football over the last three years in the first half. And if you look at the Rams, they've been having to come back in these games. And so I see it. I see that trend kind of happening again. I really, I'm going to lean on Philly. Philly comes in lane four, the total set at 49 and a half. Now, most of the, uh, of the public is on Philly laying the points and the over has now moved up a two. So a good fantasy matchup for fantasy owners. How about Nakua leading the league and, and receptions? Matthew Stafford, you know, he's holding his own as well. And they're going to get Cooper Cup back. All right, well, let's go back over our plays. Once again, we'll have Miami minus 11 at home to cover over the Giants. We're going to have, for two units, we're going to have the Pittsburgh Steelers plus four and a half. We're going to have three units on the Steelers. Another three units on Arizona plus three and a half. We're going to pass on that Jets and Denver game. And then we're going to have the Philadelphia Eagles for two units on the money line in the first half. And another two units on the LA Rams plus four and a half for the game. That's one, two, three, four, five plays for you here. Free plays, free content from your pals here at the AI Sports Picks Network. And get some much needed respect back here at the AI Sports Network. And we're going to see you at the window.